talk about I will talk about in the three seconds of my point of view. We extend the, the algorithm by incorporating the South Reading Python. And then we will test it on the on data with the interfering events. This is our static uh, tree and the protecting tree. My talk is, is sitting here. In this part, I will try to enhance or improve the current capability and effectiveness of our present multiple elimination algorithm by incorporating a South Reading pattern. This is the outline of my talk. First, I will give a brief introduction and motivation when I uh, study this work. And uh, then I will, give, I will give a brief review of the free service model determination algorithm, both for including or not including a South Reading pattern. And then this algorithm, I made a test. <coughs> Before the end, I will also in this part, we assume that all the prerequisites are satisfied. And in this discussion, I will show the impact if the ghosts in, in our data, the impact on the present model removal, finally, by summary, summary and conclusion. The, in the objective of this talk is that we will examine uh, the recent <coughs> removal on the interfering event. The interfering event uh, can occur in marine case and often happens in land. And it's a big challenge if the uh, primary and multiple are still overlapping. We cannot see it uh, in our data. And uh, we need to recover our primary. Without, uh, we want to remove the perception, the multiple without damaging the primary. And the second objective is to try to examine the impact of uh, something really impacting on our perception, the multiple elimination algorithm. And I also want to show the the cooperative nature of the research model. Do you want to use the microphone? It might be better. Oh, thank you. Uh, you clip it on and then there's a green light that comes on. Do you see it? Yes. I want to show the cooperative, cooperative nature of the free service multiple removal subseries. And uh, for the first order free service multiple elimination, uh, first free service multiple prediction, it uh, eliminates all first order free service multiples and uh, order all higher order of free service multiples. And uh, this alteration is, uh, this order is uh, purposeful. It's it is to prepare <coughs> to remove the higher order reserve multiple by a higher order reserve multiple prediction. And uh, before talking about the algorithm, I want to show the data requirement of this algorithm. First, uh, we need to remove the reference wheel field, and we also need to estimate estimate the source wavelet of uh, source reading pattern. And then we need to also remove the stars and the receiver ghosts. For example, after, after this satisfied factory, uh, for example, if our data in, has been, uh, been decoded in space and time domain, we need to forward transform this data to uh, wave number and fixed domain. And we recall this data as D1 as our input in our, in our algorithm. The first order of research multiple 
uh, prediction can be pri uh, predicted by this formula. This work is pioneered by Carvalho and Dalton Wagner. In this formula, here the Q is an oblique factor, as mentioned in Dr. Wagner's tutorial of the numerous scanner series. This is the main difference between the RI tensor free set model, multiple elimination algorithm and the, the uh, SRE algorithm. And uh, in this algorithm, our input is uh, the cell signature and uh, also the they go through the data, as uh, I mentioned in the previous slide. <coughs> in this algorithm, this is the only input. We do not need uh, any subsurface information. And uh, this, the first order prediction will elim eliminate all first order free surface multiple and uh, all, the, all the higher order free surface multiple. And then we also have a, a higher order prediction. We replace the here with our prediction. And uh, after preserve the multiple prediction, we add them together, we will get the uh, final result without preserve the multiple. And also, we to incorporate the source reading pattern, we we include uh, the source uh, reading pattern in our algorithm. This is the uh, change over here. We can look at this one. This is a point source. This is a tropical point source source negation. This is a source array. Uh, it's a source with a writing pattern. In this formula, this is our input. We need to look this is a call it a projection of the source signature. And also we need the decoded data. The key point is that we have how to find the projection of the source signature. The, it can be derived from our direct wave. The flow chart is like this. <coughs> we have our measured data. Total data, and uh, we we use green theorem method to separate uh, the reference we will field and uh, skeleton we will field. As mentioned in Dr. Wagner's uh, green theorem with separation tutorial, and uh, also in uh, Jim Wu's uh, green theorem application. And uh, then we decode this data by it goes to the receiver side goes and it goes to the south side goes. And also we need to get the director wheel field. All the green box can be achieved by green theorem wheel separation method. And uh, we need to get the south signature or the south radiation pattern in in the algorithm that includes the uh, south radiation pattern. Here I will show just one example, and uh, if you are interested in the detail, uh, please check my report. For a 2D case, we, we have a formula that direct we have a uh, relationship between the direct wave and the uh, source reading impact, the projection of the source reading pattern with green function in k omega domain, and uh, here k and the Q have a constraint. The, the K is represents the amplitude variation with angle. Since we have this constraint, the Q is not a free variable, so we cannot find the source in space frequency domain. Because in space frequency domain, XZ is both free variable. So if we follow a question, it will be two uh, free variable. But here we have a constraint. We can only find the projection of the source signature. And it always can be achieved directly from the direct wheel. This is a summary computation. <coughs> the difference is that we incorporate the, the variation of the 
I go dependent into our algorithm. It depends on key. And based on this, I will show a numerical example and that includes the interfering event. So our numeric, the objective, objective of the numeric test is that you want to remove free surface manifold on a, a interfering on the data with the interfering event, and the data is generated by a general stop with a radiating pattern. I want to mention that this is our objective. We want to examine the data with interfering events, and we also want to examine the impact of radiating pattern. And I will also show the cooperative nature of the pre-service multiple. This is a model I designed to show that in this model, I didn't change the uh, velocity. I want to make uh, the primary and the precipitous model are stayed on the charge, uh, are interfering. And the number designed to make the precipitous model and the primary are canceled. I will use the soft array with the reading pattern to generate the data by reflectivity uh, measure. This is the seismic event I will generate. First, we have first primary and second <coughs> primary, and the first uh, first order free search manifold. This is the second first order free search manifold. This is the second order uh, free search manifold. I plotted <coughs> the same color. In the same color, they have the same around time. So, and uh, for this case, they have. Uh, Opposite priority, so they will cancel this color in our data. So you will not see it's invisible in our data. I will label it as the second primary class, the first uh, first order free smart free search model. And uh, also these three events uh, interfering. I will label it as two F two. This is two <coughs> and plus. Uh, the preserved manifold. This is our data we generated. As we can see, in our data we only can see the first uh, primary. And uh, there's another event, it's a multiple. But uh, we do not know it's a first order, second order. We have no information about that right now. And then we put this algorithm, uh, we put this data into our uh, free service multiple information algorithm. I will mention that this is a source array data. It means that the data has a writing pattern. So first, we use the free service multiple illumination algorithm that includes a source radiation pattern. This is a removal of first order research multiple. We're using the algorithm including a source reading pattern. You can see after remove the first order free surface uh, multiple, all the free surface multiple, all the first order free surface multiples uh, are eliminated. And the higher order free surface multiples are uh, outer and uh, the outer the outer of this higher order research multiple is purposeful it is uh, it will it will be prepared for remove this event by higher order research multiple prediction after the subtraction from the prediction uh, subtract uh, the prediction from our input data this is a result. We can see the second uh, primary are recovered, and uh, this is a higher order research multiple are uh, uh, altered. We we keep this and uh, we remove the first and second order. This is a result. We can see the only 
uh, all the manifolds are removed, and uh, we keep the, the second order uh, primary. Later, I will show some detail. I will take one trace to compare them. Before that, uh, we look at the result. If our algorithm do not include, does not include uh, a self-reading pattern, this is a remove of first order free service manifold. You, you can see our <coughs> algorithm does not include this still provide very useful information and a useful results. This is and the second primary is cover is recovered and the, the prediction of, the, of a higher order have has been altered. But uh, we do not know it is the primary is it is it fully fully uh, recovered. Later I would take one trace to compare them. And after remove the first and the second order uh, recent multiple from the data, we can see if we do not include the uh, source reading patterns, the impact of the source reading patterns, we have some residue. If our data is uh, uh, if, the, if our data is with a uh, reading pattern, next uh, I will take uh, one uh, one piece to compare the difference. Here, the red line is the true primary. That means the data without a uh, multiple. And uh, if we remove the free surface multiple using the algorithm that uh, does not include the uh, uh, soft reading pattern, <coughs> the, the green line shows the result. We can see for the first order free surface multiple removal, after the first order free surface multiple removal, the second uh, order primary is not uh, fully covered recovered and then the higher order have some residue and then this residue will have an impact uh, on the free surface multiple removal. Later my colleague Xin Wu Lin will show some examples that uh, the residue of the free surface multiple impact uh, on the internal multiple removal. And uh, we, if we plug, apply algorithm that is including Include the really uh, source reading pattern. Is a blue dash the blue line show the result. We can see the the all the free surface multiples are removed, and uh, our second primary are fully recovered, and uh, there is no residue for higher order uh, free surface multiples. For this example, we assume that all our pre all our prerequisites are satisfied. In the next uh, example, I will show if our data includes ghosts, what will happen? In this uh, work, this uh, brief review, if we our data include ghosts, I will show the impact on the free surface multiple removal. This is a uh, very simple example. It's only one reflector. The left side is our data. Data with ghost. We have first uh, primary and the first order free surface multiple, and the first uh, a second order free surface multiple, and the responding the uh, ghost. So each unit have three ghosts, and in the middle is our prediction. After the subtraction from the data, we get this result. We can see if the, our ghost, uh, <coughs> we if we do not remove ghosts, this uh, the lot of the multiples cannot be removed. But uh, this still provide uh, useful 
useful result, valuable, useful information. Because the prediction <coughs> have a correct, correct uh, uh, time. <coughs> if the events are separated, so we can remove use adaptive. If we remove a ghost and then <coughs> apply this algorithm again, this is the result. This is the data after ghost, uh, the ghosting. So we have three events, primary research multiple, research multiple. This is the prediction. And after subtracting from the data, this is the result. We only <coughs> get the clear result with the, the primary. So this shows that the, the ghost is a, an important uh, prerequisite for our preset multiple removal algorithm. Finally, I will give a summary that uh, in this talk I examined the preset multiple removal of data with the inferring event. And we also showed the impact of uh, soft reading pattern on the preset multiple removal. And I also show the, the cooperative nature of the free surface multiple. And in our numerical test, the extended algorithm that includes the soft reading pattern have provided the capability to accurately predict and remove free surface multiples without any subsurface emission, without damaging primaries. And uh, also, I show that the ghost skin is very important uh, prerequisite for multiple removal. And uh, this, is, uh, this is a code I used in this project, and uh, you can find it uh, in our website. This is a pre-processing code, <coughs> pioneered by Jim Hongzhang and Jim Mehan. And uh, also, the free service multiple removal code uh, provided by uh, and Kaplan and Paul Tarangi, and also have a code that incorporates a uh, reading pattern. Finally, I will want to repeat that our objective is to improve the improve and enhance the cap capability and the effectiveness of the free surface multiple elimination algorithm. And, uh, and, uh, if the preserved multiple are not removed, removed completely, it will have an impact, uh, impact on the internal multiple removal. I feel I want to thank uh, all our sponsors for their encouragement and uh, support. And uh, thank you for your attention and, and questions.